because the moment you realize your computer is in the frame. <laughs> like, why is my computer in the frame? Oh my goodness, now we're dropping things. What a way to start a live. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh my goodness, my desk is um, a little messy. I just had back-to-back -back stuff all day. We had a gaggle meeting this morning, and then the How to Become Money Workbook, and then I ran to the chiropractor, and I came back to do this. So, oh my goodness. And, um... We're in week three of the How to Become Money Workbook, and it is awesome. I'm just saying, you could still join us, but that's okay. You don't have to choose it. I know you don't actually want more money. So everything that is right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. We haven't even really started yet, and I'm already clearing things. So if you don't know me, I'm Dr. Melissa Mann. This is Musings with Melissa, and that was the Access Consciousness Clearing Statement. That's a lot of information all at once. And um, if you've never heard that before, you can go to theclearingstatement.com and Dr. Dane here explains that beautifully. And today, today I need to turn my do not disturb on or that's going to beep this whole time. Today, we are talking about under pressure. And um, if you Google that, all the queen things come up. <laughs> so it was something I was so aware of this week and so many people that I talked to is how much pressure we actually put on ourselves. And what was popping is it wasn't even this pressure to like be successful or like make a ton of money or like, I mean, those things exist, but the pressure I'm talking about today is the daily pressure. The like little stuff throughout the day where you should yourself, where you spend your whole day going, oh, well, I should do this, oh, I have five minutes, what can I do in five minutes? I should do this, I should do that, I should do this. And I had a client this week say that she's she can never relax. So she just moved into an apartment by herself in the city and it's beautiful. And she, you know, now is sort of like having time to like be with herself and is like, oh my goodness, I don't know what to do with myself. There's so many things I could do. And then it's like she goes into this overwhelm. And I'm sure nobody else can relate to that. Nobody else has ever done overwhelm when it's like, oh. There's so many possibilities, what to do. But then it becomes this pressure of, well, I need to make sure I've had a productive day. So what can I do that's productive? There's no energy or judgment on the word productive, is there? So everything that is times a godzillion, can we destroy and uncreate that? Right, wrong, good, bad, pod, pod, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Yeah, and what if, Every day, instead of, I have to go for a walk, I have to do the laundry, I have to clean up the dishes, I have to um, start this new campaign, I have to um, call this person about this thing. I mean, all of the things that we have decided that like we have to get done today, as though our lives depend on it, when most of it isn't actually required. So what could you do instead? And that's like this thing that's come up a lot is like, okay, well, that's what I've been doing. And I can understand where I'm doing that or like what I'm judging about myself. Because what's the underlying judgment? The underlying judgment there is I'm not doing enough. I'm not enough. No matter what I do, it's never going to be enough. So everything that you're trying to do it, so that you, hi Susanna, so that you can prove to yourself mostly that you are enough, that you are productive, that you are a functioning member of society, therefore you have a to-do list that's five pages long, will you destroy and create that? Right, wrong, good, bad, pod, pod, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And if you weren't choosing that, what could you choose instead? Now, a lot of people do this thing where they sort of go into the like, oh, well, I'm just going to stop doing all those things on my to-do list. So I will sit here and do nothing and I will binge on Netflix all day because that is how I don't judge me. And is that actually true? Or do you get through the end of the day, realize you did nothing all day, not from a space of I'm going to give myself space to relax and be, but instead from a space of avoidance and then you still go into the judgment. So are you actually, does it work when you decide like, oh, there's all these things I need to do, but I don't want to do any of them. <clears throat> so I'm going to do nothing and sit and watch TV all day as though then you won't judge yourself. That doesn't work. So what if instead of trying to like have this super long to-do list and do all these things and call this person and go this place and 
prove that you've taken the dog on the walk of the right amount of times and all of the things that you're doing or going to the other end of I give up, I will do nothing. What if there's something else available? Now this isn't like, I, I think most conversations be like, find a happy medium. Well, what if there is no happy medium? What if, I know, <laughs> terrible, I'm shattering realities. What if instead you just asked questions of like, what would actually create greater today? Because today is different than tomorrow, is different than yesterday. Today, you may want a day where you just relax, but your version of relaxing, whatever that is for you. So maybe it's that you go on a walk, maybe you go out with a friend, maybe you binge on Netflix, maybe you do whatever you choose to do, and you didn't judge it because that's what was required today. And maybe for you, that is what creates greater today. Now that doesn't mean then that you wake up tomorrow and go, well, that's what worked for me yesterday, so let's do that again. No, today's a new day. Today, ask what would create greater today. Now today, there may be things that are required. It may be that you need to, or that you choose to from a space of what will create greater, of asking a question and being in the awareness of what pops up. It may be that today it is required to make the phone call. It is required to take your dog to the vet. It is required to do some amount of work for some amount of hours to make some amount of money. And whatever that is today is probably not going to be the same thing that it is tomorrow. And it may not be the same thing that it is from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Ask throughout the day, okay, what is required of me now to create the greatest life that I can have? To create joy, to create money, to create ease, to create play? What is it that I'm actually asking for? And what matches the energy of that now that I can choose? And so from that space, there's no judgment in that. It's a question of like, hey, what would actually create greater? What would create my day? What would create my life? What would be fun for me? And also what is required that moves me in the direction of the life I'd like to have. And when you choose from that space, there's no like, oh, I should have done this or I should have done that or I shouldn't have done this or I'm not doing enough because you're in a totally different space because you come out of the like do doing list of like trying to cross things off or doing what you think is required or like what, what other people have said you should do to be a productive member of society. Anytime you're doing should, you're in judgment. So start catching yourself throughout the day. Start catching when you say like, oh, I really should blank. I really should work out. I really should go, you know, clean the kitchen, whatever that is and catch it and be like, okay. And if I wasn't functioning from should, and if I wasn't functioning from judgment, what could I choose that would actually create greater? Is the kitchen a total mess? Is that okay with you? Or would you like to clean it up because you'd like your kitchen to be clean? Not because you should clean it, not because it's the right thing to do, but because it creates greater for you when you don't have dishes piled in your sink. It's a different energy. It's asking from a space of like, what would I actually like to have? Is it required for me to clean up? Not because I should, but because it creates something in my world. I know that's like this little tiny distinction, but it, it takes you out of judgment and puts you back into question. So, so I lost my little screen. The other thing that I would, well, actually a couple things, but one of the things that I would look at with this is, is it that you actually need to slow down? And there is, so there's this difference between like doing lots of things and actually um, like, I'm not sure I have the word for it. Like when you're doing things that are actually creating for you, like we're talking about, but it's like not from the space of to-do list and crossing things off and like doing, 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 but instead it's from a like, what do you get to do today? See how that changes it from I have to do this today or do I get to do this today? So. If it's like, okay, well, I, I just told you like this morning, I, I sat down and I was like, oh my God, I'm dropping everything. So many things are going on and maybe you weren't on yet for that. But when I first sat down, everything was kind of falling all over the place. And it's, I was like, oh, I just have had so many things going on today. I had a meeting at nine and then I had a call at 10 and I went to the chiropractor at 11. None of that felt heavy or like I had so many things to do. Oh my God. Like 
it didn't have that energy because they were all things that are fun for me and that I enjoy, that I was actually very relaxed and enjoying my life and doing things that are um, joyful and fun and ease and for me. And was I busy in this reality? Yeah, I guess. But it doesn't have that same energy. So sometimes when we feel like overwhelmed and we go into this like, oh my God, there's so much to do. You actually aren't doing enough or you're not doing enough of what lights you up. And this isn't a like, oh, you're not good enough conversation. It's like you're not doing enough to be in the joy of it. So sometimes when we don't have enough going on, it's like we create like little mini stresses. It's like, oh my gosh, I have to go here and I have to call this person. I have to like write this thing. And like we create all these like little, little like to-do list items that are kind of like little. But we create them as like, oh my God, I have 800 things to do, where if you actually had things going on that you really loved and that lit you up, that you were having so much fun doing, making the quick phone call in between everything else you were doing or like sending the email or all of those things, they don't even seem like to-do list items because you're having so much fun doing everything else. It's like, oh, I got to send this thing real quick. Okay, cool. And you, it's like you just, you're on and you, it's like you're in that flow, if you've ever heard that term where like time isn't relevant and you're just like enjoying your life and having so much fun that you don't notice that you have like all these little things going on because they just sort of flow into your day without it being like this like heavy energy we do. So always be willing to ask questions of like, is this true? Like I have too much going on or is it that I actually don't have enough going on that I'm loving and enjoying? And if that's the case, then what could I choose now that would bring me joy. I had a conversation with a friend the other day. This was so interesting. Um, we went out to dinner. I, maybe it was last Friday. And, um, and she said to me, she said, you know, you work a lot. And oh, I was talking about my husband works a lot. My husband does work a lot. And, and I said, you know, and she said, yeah, you work a lot. And I was like, no, I don't. <laughs> I was like, I work like 20 hours a week. What are you talking about? And, um, and she's like, yeah, you see clients like 20 hours a week, but then like you do this thing on Mondays where you go to the nursing home and you're always doing an access class or hosting a class or facilitating a class or going to a class. And she's like, well, most of your days are actually really full of work. And I was like, wow, I do not see it that way. If somebody asks me how many hours a week I work, it's like 20, 25 hours a week. Cause I don't see if like all the access stuff and the classes and the facilitating, like none of that has ever even occurred to me as work. It's one of the ways I make money. And it's something I love doing, but I, it was so interesting, like hearing somebody else's perspective of like, oh, you work a lot. <laughs> it's like, what? So bear that in mind is like when you're doing things that don't feel like work, there are things that light you up that are fun for you. Then you don't get stuck in this like overwhelm and minutia of things. And the other thing I would add is that you don't actually need to slow down or speed up or anything. It's really the judgment that you put on it. So for a lot of us, we need to be doing things, but we need to be doing things that are fun for us, like I'm saying. And that's not to say that you should always be in constant go mode where sometimes your body requires rest. Sometimes spending a day in front of the TV is not like not wrong. So like nothing is wrong. Like what if nothing you ever chose to spend your time doing was wrong? It's just looking at the energy of what that choice creates. Sometimes sitting around and, you know, playing online or watching TV or uh, playing a video game or doing something else that's fun for you actually does create greater. Some of the best ideas I have come from downtime come from going for a walk, come from having a random conversation with somebody. And sometimes that's not the thing that's required in that day. So wherever you choose, wherever your days take you, anywhere that you were going into judgment of you, that's actually when you shut off the energy of what you'd like to create as your life. But if everything was just an interesting point of view and nothing was right or wrong, it was just choice, then you start to get that you can always choose something different and look like, hey, is this actually what I'd like to do with my day? Yeah, awesome. Is this actually like what, I, what I'd like to do with my day? No, not at all. Okay, what other choices do I have available? 
and you know, I know I can hear people being like, oh, well, you know, I'm no, I don't want to sit at my job all day, but I kind of have to. I, that's how I make money. Okay. And what other choices do you have available? You have a choice to get up and walk out the door. Is that going to create what you'd like to create as your life? Maybe not. Maybe you'd actually like to make the money from where you're at right now. But if every day you start to feel that same like heaviness of like, oh, no, this is not what I'd like to be doing with my time right now. Okay, well then it might be time to really ask questions about like, what would you actually like your life to be like? And what else is truly possible that you haven't considered? You know, I was having this conversation with my oldest son last night of, um, he just graduated from college and he's like kind of trying to figure out like what he wants to do with his life. And, you know, we were having these conversations of like, and he was like, I just don't have time to look for other jobs. I'm like, yeah, but that's choice. You do, but you've decided that you're stuck and so you won't. So, you know, which he didn't love to hear. These are, you know, difficult conversations. And, but be willing to be aggressively present with you and vulnerable with you and everywhere that you've decided that you're stuck or that like, this is, um, like the, you're stuck. I don't even know how else to say that. Like that you kind of shut the energy off of anything else being possible. Then that is indeed what gets created. Your point of view creates your reality. But it, when you start to acknowledge that you have choice, and get that like, if I don't like how I'm spending my days or spending my time, instead of judging me, instead of going into the wrongness of it or saying how life's not fair and everything's unfair and everything is awful and you kind of go into the like blaming game of ever like society and all of that, none of that creates greater. So it's looking at like, what choices do I actually have available that I can choose now that would create something different? And maybe that doesn't mean you walk out the door of your current job because you're not enjoying it but you start looking at what else is possible. I think I looked at quitting my last job for three years before I quit, but it was this building and this creating of like really trusting me and knowing. And by the time I left, I knew that something else was possible and I chose it, but I was already choosing it three years prior by every choice I was making. And so, and acknowledge that, acknowledge even right now when you're like, oh, I'm stuck or I'm not choosing, you are choosing, you are aware, you are asking for something different. And if you keep moving in that direction, instead of judging yourself, you'll get there faster. It's a whole lot easier. <laughs> so would you be willing to choose ease and to have allowance for you and stop judging you and actually look at what you can choose with each day and what you'd like to create in the world and start moving towards that with your choices. So I think that's all. I will um, I will be here next week at our normal time, Thursday morning. Today was a weird day. I had a, a very this reality psychology training the last two days that started at 7 a.m. and went till 3 p.m. And then I saw clients after that. So interesting choice I made there. So I didn't have time to do this. But I um, so that's why we're here today on a Friday instead. But next week we will be back at our normal Thursday time. So I will see you then. I hope you have an amazing day and weekend and I will talk to you soon. Bye.